of the back four, Ayeleki coming in. He'll play alongside Edwards and up front Walker, Luca and Lewis. Halifax, FC Halifax Town. They've also made the one change. Um, enjoying back-to-back -back wins following uh, the victory, first of all, at Dorking last weekend. They backed that up with a win against Maidenhead United in midweek. Florin Hotty comes in for Jack Jenkins, the former Leeds United players. The early cross almost coming in from Kelly Everts. Blocked, though, as FC Halifax can come away with the ball now with Oli Wubori. Skips away from Cooper easily and now links the ball through for Hotty. The chance, it's smothered by Andre, who gathers it at the second attempt. And Hotty in behind the defence, the low shot, and Andre just did enough to smother the chance and gathers it. And that all came from uh, Waikuma pushing forward and uh, the move broke down and uh, then Hottie was away at pace and uh, and they really, that that really, I mean, you could say it should have been a goal. He could, he got it on target. It was well, well covered by uh, Andre, but um, a real threat there from Halifax. Lewis leaves it for Suku, who tries to oh. keep uh, with an audacious shot from outside the box. And Johnson was scrambling across to his left on post to push it out for a corner. Well, that was a great shot, and it was it looked destined there for the top corner and really took the keeper by surprise. And Woking fans would have seen Lucas' goal uh, against uh, Oxford City. Uh, Tonton Summers again, just inside the uh, Halifax uh, half, as now they come forward down the, the right-hand side. The other cross coming in, a chance for Hodge to shoot! Oh, he's drilled it across the face of goal. Hotty again, who's looked so lively. The only change for FC Halifax. And uh, that was a carve, well, a clear chance of opportunity for Halifax to score the opening goal. Yeah, he, he did. They did very well there. And, uh, then laid it to Casey, who, well, looked to put in a long ball, and there was no one there, and it was far too long and just went out for a, a goal kick. 17 minutes gone, and you're listening to Saturday Sport on uh, BBC Radio Sussex and Surrey. Still goalless here at the Shea. Although Bori tries his luck with uh, an awkward looking shot actually for Andre because it seemed to almost dip and swerve just yeah. before it reached him. But uh, Andre kept his eye on the ball and got his chest right behind it too. 0 0. Seems to be yeah. getting a second wind and beginning to put a bit of pressure on the Halifax penalty area. Suka does brilliant to get in behind Evans, drills the ball in low to Ince, tries to cushion the ball off towards Kelly Evans, who goes down heavily under a clumsy challenge from Hottie on the edge of the box. Yep, yeah, and the referee is perfectly positioned there, so, uh, yep, and I think it's going to be Jaden uh, Luca is looking, or Curtis Edwards. So, Oyeleki slips on the uneven surface, gives the ball towards FC Halifax now with Oluwabori, almost going to get to George Oluwabori, almost thinks of a shot, gets it back towards some of Field who drills in a low effort that may have taken a nick off a working defender and it has for a corner. Yeah and that really came from uh, Manny Oileke being caught in possession in midfield and what looked a promising position for Woking, suddenly Woking for on the back foot, they defended it well Oliver Bori at the near post goes towards him and it's gone it straight from the corner. Andre could not keep it out. And Summerfield has scored straight from the corner, drifting in towards the near post, catching Andre by surprise as he tried to punch the ball out. Now it may well have already been in the net before he got his hands to it. But that's an embarrassing moment for Andre. Yeah, there have been a few times this this half, really, where both Oileki and there, there we saw Ince have got the ball stuck under their feet, and uh, Edwards is struggling as well to get into the game. Well, the ball in towards uh, Golden, tries to hook the ball across the face of goal. There wasn't anybody there who would have took the ball home for FC Halifax Town anyway, but... What? Takes his time as Curtis drops short, makes himself available finds Oyeleki instead, doesn't really have anywhere to go, pokes it down the line straight towards uh, Golden, 
And now with Hottie, has a chance to shoot and tries to bend it. Oh, and it's bounced over Andre's body and into the back of the net. And Andre is having a bit of a nightmare because, once again, he's at fault for that one too. It's uh, FC Halifax Town 2, working nil. Yeah, yeah. The shot came in, bounced just in front of Andre and then over him. Uh, he got down to get behind him, but the bounce took it clear of him. And Woking now really have a mountain to climb. And when we have uh, the team news for the late kickoff involving Aldershot, we'll give that to you. Jaden Suka looking lively down the right hand side, looking for the ball, eventually reaches him. Lovely spin inside Thompson Summers, bends the ball in, the header comes in from Walker, downward header towards the far post. It had no power. Here's Cuthbert on the edge of the area, down the right-hand side. Can he get the ball in? He can. It's cleared, though, by Evans, and FC Halifax Sound do come away. So we do know that Crawley were 1-0 up against Forest Green Rovers. How are they doing? Gary Smith. FC Halifax Town now with George. He's up against Casey. The run from Golden now on the byline. Drills the ball in low. It's palmed away by Andre. Now with Thompson Summers. Hammers in the shot over the bar. Still nil. Still 2 0 for FC Halifax Town against Woking. So we're going to have a substitution shortly here for FC Halifax Town with Senior coming on from uh, Kane towards Thompson Summers. Now Adam Senior laying the ball low towards his right hand side. Makes himself available. The ball. He's played in field towards Hotty. Shoots about a yard past Andre's uh, left hand post. It's still FC Halifax Town 2, Woking nil. Yeah, and uh, you know, Woking's game plan is often try and keep it tight at the back and uh, look to score, look to score the goals. And uh, but two nil down, you can't, you can't do that. It has to. Stays upright, gets it towards Curtis Edwards. Luca goes down. Nothing doing for Woking. And the home side come forward now, and a chance, an early ball over the top from Summerfield now, as uh, Alua Bori is completely unmarked. Now it's on the ball, tries to pick his spot straight into the arms of Andre. Yeah, and you, I'm sure Halifax fans will be hoping that Halifax don't live to regret that, because it was really wasteful in front of goal. And now we have Lewis giving it to Corboa. Corboa with a push in the back from Thompson Summers. Wall to be aware of. And it's going to swing this towards the far post. And it goes. The flick down from Walker. Pretty straight into the arms of Johnson. Yep. And it, I'm wondering whether it's time for another change for Woking. I, I and the former Walking player, Thompson Summers, he stood out for me today. He has. He's a very good player. He was with Birmingham City. I, don't, I suspect yeah. he's been... I don't know if he's been released by them or and it, whether he's a Halifax player, but he was with Birmingham City and scored a great goal. He was a good lad, but uh, it's three or four years ago now. Here's Lewis cutting in from the left-hand side. Shoots! Yes. Brilliant goal! Woking backing it with a lifeline as Lewis cuts in from the left-hand side and rips one from the edge of the box. And Johnson, well, even if he had been sighted, would not have stopped that. It's in the bottom corner. FC Halifax Town 2, Woking 1. And deserved for Denon Lewis. He's been very bright this second half and uh, you know, had a number of crosses that have been dangerous, a number of threats. And this time he, he cut inside, let go himself, and it just went in at that far post. And uh, With uh, Cuthbert, he's going to lay the ball off towards the uh, right-hand side with Kelly Evans. Cuts in. Now with Lewis. Great pass. Casey on the edge of the box. Takes a deflection, the keeper gets the ball up partially. Now outside the box. Alua Bori picking up the loose ball for Halifax with a couple of step overs. He's got Cosgrave ahead of him, who now receives the ball. He's got Dash for company down this right hand side. And, and he's just running towards the corner flag. He's going to waste the time here. He's going to waste what time's left. Edwards does really well, in fact, just to put the ball between his legs. And Cuthbert can bring the ball out now beyond the 18-yard line. Woking, possibly with one more chance. To get Michael all rang the changes with various various ons and offs and certainly provided a much 
greater threat this second half. Still a minute or two to go. Although Abori though, getting it behind Casey. Now inside the box, still Casey, making him well. Good save from Alexis Andre. It may well have been going wide, but he wasn't going to take that chance. It is a corner though for the home side. And just as important for the home side, it eats up a bit more time. And, uh, and um, you know, Woking now will be struggling to get the ball back, although we desperately wanted to have one last shot at this, at this Halifax goal. Whereas uh, Woking have got uh, Ebbsfleet United, who are now above them in the table, Ian. Woking have dropped to third bottom. Yeah, it's Woking, though, could change that. Big on Tuesday. Still still a life in the, life in the game yet till the whistle goes. Great ball from Edwards, cross-field. As now Kendall gets the ball in, a clear header on the edge of the six-yard box. There was Cuthbert. It was possibly a little too high for him, but he was unmarked. Seven yards out, he goes over the bar, and with that chance, Woking leave the Shea empty-handed as their fight against relegation continues. And with this defeat, they now slip one place. They are third bottom with such an important game coming up against Ebbsfleet on Tuesday. They'll have to think about that later, but looking at the game today, they were 2-0 down at half-time, conceding two goals in the space of six minutes, both on avoid, both avoidable. Somerville direct from a corner. Hotty, his shot bouncing over. Andre into um, the net. We were